Hi, kids. Okay, today I'm going to do a really short little video on, hey, how do you linearize stuff? So let's say you got some data, um, and this was your data, and there's a bunch of numbers here. Um, actually, whatever, it, there's a bunch of numbers, and you graphed it, okay? So let's say you graphed it, used graphical, and for our sake, we're going to say you put F over here, you put R over there, and then... You know, when you plotted it out, your graph looks something like this. You use the app, and it said, hey, you know, the power is, uh, you know, the, the power is going to be to the negative 2 power. Okay. So, you're like, oh, if I want to linearize this. So, really what this is saying is that f is proportional to r to the negative 2, which is the same thing as saying f is proportional to 1 over r squared. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So you got this, you got this, you got a relationship, and it's like, hey, what is the relationship? So then what you should do, guys, is this is where don't make this hard, okay? Because if I want it to be a line, I don't want to graph f and r anymore, because if I graph f and r, it's an inverse square relationship. So what do I have to graph if I want it to be a, a straight line? Is well, I need to graph f and one over r squared. Because you know what? F is proportional to one over r squared, so if you graph that, you will get a line. So then you would have to make another column, which is one over r squared. Your units would be one over m squared, meter squared. Get your numbers, plug it into the graphical app, and when you did that, you should get a nice line. Ta-da! And then just be careful, guys, when you're writing it out. Um, you know, the app is silly and not very smart. And the app says, hey, you get a thing that says like this. Y equals A to the B. And where B is negative 2. Um, or actually, if you're graphing this, you would get a line. Sorry, that would have been the first one. But if, if you're graphing this, you would get a straight line, and it would be like y equals mx plus b, where this would be 0, okay? But here's where you guys got to be careful, okay? m is going to be some number. We'll make up a number. We're going to say it's, you know, 2,000, okay? Um, but uh, here's where you got to be careful. You're not graphing y. You're graphing f, and I'm not graphing x, I'm graphing 1 over r squared. So it's y equals mx plus b, which is 0, and this is what you would get. Now, the other thing you got to be careful of if you want to do slopes, the slope of that 2,000 would be, so the slope would be 2,000 rise, newtons, divided by the run, which is 1 over meters squared, which is really 2,000 newton times meter squared. Because divide, same thing as multiply by the reciprocal. So there you go. So don't make linearization hard. It's not, okay? You figure out what is the relationship, add that third column, and then just graph how they're related, and you're done. All right. Bye, kids!